our geometry. So this is going to be a pretty simple section. We've already covered some of this information before. I'm going to tilt the laptop up a little bit. Uh, we've already covered some of this information before, so it's basically just asking how uh, changes in the dimensions, whether it's the circumference, one of the angles, one of the sides, how that's going to change the area or perimeter of an object. So let's go through. I'll kind of get you started, but for this video, I want you to try to explore the patterns, and then we will talk about this table in class. So I want you all to follow my lead on what's going on here and see if you can come up with a rule on um, how effects on or how changes in one dimension or changes in both dimensions or change, changes in the area affect uh, other pieces of the puzzle. So let's look at this first one here. What happens to the perimeter and area of the following triangle when the height of the triangle is multiplied by 6? So the original perimeter is going to be 12 plus 5 plus Pythagorean theorem real quick. <coughs> we know that this side is going to be equal to the square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared. So the square root of 169 is 13. So 12 plus 5 plus 13. The original perimeter is 30 inches. The new perimeter, if we increase the height by 6, well, that means that we add 6 to the perimeter, right? Or that means we add 6 to this side, right? So we're at least adding 6 inches. But if we throw 6 inches on the height here, does this side stay at 13? No, it won't. So let's draw our new triangle. So we've got the 12 inch base and the new and improved 13 inch height. And sorry, that's going to be an 11 inch height. It's 5 plus 6 is 11, not 13. Oh my gosh. And I messed up big time because it's multiplied by 6 and not adding 6. So even bigger over on this side is going to be a 12-inch base and a 30-inch height. Because 5, the original height, times 6 is 30. And so this side angle now is now 30 squared plus 12 squared. Uh, square root of all that. So we'll go to our handy dandy calculator. 30 squared plus 12 squared is 1044 and the square root of that is about 32.3. So we've got 12 plus 30 plus 32.3 equals Oh, I don't know, about 74.3. So it doesn't look like there was any nice ratio change. There wasn't any proportional change given from when we went to the original to multiplying one of the dimensions by 6. So that one's interesting. We'll keep looking at these patterns as we go on. Now let's look at the area. So the area is just going to be 1 half base times height. So we've got 1 half times 12 times 5. So we end up with an area of 30 inches squared. That's pretty cool. Our perimeter and area are the same. I wonder how many objects that's true for. In our new area, so let's look back at this triangle. We've got 1 half times 12 times 30, and so our total here is going to be 180 inches squared. And so in this one, it's nice because, okay, to get from 30 to 180, we just multiply by 6. And what else do we multiply by 6? We multiply the height by 6. 
So I want you all to go through the rest of these, uh, the rest of these examples. Find the perimeter of the original. Find the area of the original. Find the perimeter and area of the new object after the change of dimensions. And I want to see if you can come up with um, the rules that happen every time. So every time we change a dimension, every time we multiply a dimension by 6, is the area going to change by a multiple of 6? Is that true? See if you can find something for changing the perimeter. Um, and so this table on the bottom, I want you all to fill out when you're done and see if you can find those rules, and we will discuss those in class. So that's all for this section. Uh, as I said, it should be pretty easy, pretty straightforward. We've kind of been dealing with these concepts uh, over the year. So let's just try and make sure we've got this polished up. Uh, bring any questions you have into class. If you get confused on any of this part, uh, circle it, you know, make a note of it so that when we're in class, we can clear it up and you won't be confused about it anymore. Um, but that's all for 9.5, so thanks for sticking with me, and we'll see you in class.